We have a cross-section of people that come here, from the wealthy to the poor. We actually had an occasion when a young man came rushing in here one morning, just as we opened, and he said, I need a shirt and I need a tie because I'm going for a job. So, of course, being old grandmas, we looked at him and he had jeans with holes in them. He was wearing thongs. And I said, we'll never get a job looking like that. I said, now, let's help you get that job and outfit you. So we found pants, we found a top, we found a shirt. He looked terrific for $25, but he only had 20 So he was short. So we said, don't worry. I said to him, look, you get that job, you can come back and you can give us the balance. And my friend who was with me said, ah, we're never going to see him again. Anyway, a couple of hours later, in he rushed, bunch of flowers, lollies, the five pound, five dollar note, and he said, I got the job. And that was a joy for us. So we hugged him and kissed him and he went off. <laughs> End of story. But so we have wonderful people. We also have a man who comes here and cases out crystal. He's a retired man. Whenever there is some Orophores crystal, which very cheaply marked, because there's only two glasses, he comes and says, I'll have those. My cheap scotch is going to taste so much better from a good glass. And we agree with him. We don't give him a discount, but he always gives us an extra dollar. So if it comes to, say, four dollars, he always says, have five. I don't think he's a wealthy man. I think he's come down in the world. But he's a charming man and we love to see him. End of story. <laughs> That's it for me.